This tutorial shows you how to modify the labels in a Maptitude map. You can change the style of labels for an entire layer, a feature display, a selection set, or even an individual feature. The simplest way to modify labels is to use the Display Manager and click the Label symbol next to the features you want to change. For example, to change the labels for the country layer, we'll click this symbol, choose the font, style, size, and other settings, and click OK. map to dude updates the labels on the map. Notice that the Ireland label is partially cropped. Labels on areas are automatically placed at the center of the area, so only part of this label is visible. If you do not want to see partial labels like this, then you can modify it by checking the Skip Partial Labels box. When I click Apply, you'll see that Ireland is no longer labeled. However, you can also choose the Smart Alignment option. This tells Maptitude to try and fit the area's label somewhere in the visible portion of the map. Now notice when I click Apply that Ireland will be labeled, as will France in the lower right. On the Overlaps tab, you can choose to use alternate fields if there's not enough room for an entire label. In this case, the ISO code will be displayed if there's not enough room for the whole country name. You can also choose to prioritize labels. For example, if I want to make sure that the country label is always displayed, I might want to change the priority to the highest level. You can choose to make sure that countries with a higher population or a larger area get labeled before other countries in the case where there might not be enough room to display both labels. And finally, you can choose at what scales the, the label should be visible by entering values in the largest and smallest drop-down lists for, in the auto scale settings. For example, it could have it from a scale of 1 to 1 to 1 to 10 million. On the background tab, you can choose to use shields. If you're labeling something like highway features with a number, you can use frames. If I apply that, you can see what those look like. You can also change the border color and fill for your frames. Or you can use halos and shadows. Many of the layers in Maptitude use feature display settings to categorize features. You can change the individual feature settings in the same manner. For example, you can change the capital labels and click OK. And now the Dublin and London labels are changed. You can also customize individual labels with a custom label tool. For example, you can move a label by clicking and dragging. And you can double click on the label to modify just an individual label. You can add a call outline when you move a label by using this tool and clicking and dragging. And you can hide a label by right clicking on the label and choosing suppress display. You can use this tool to rotate a label. And finally, you can restore any label that you've moved or rotated by right clicking on it and choosing restore default location. And that wraps up this tutorial on labeling features in a map.